having to explain to people every day that this is who I am, regardless of what language I speak, regardless of what my name is, that's who I am. And I, this is what I walk around every day when I have conversation with people, but you don't see that. They don't see that on me. Now that's something personal, so I, I want you to dig a little deep into your personal bag and become halfway vulnerable for a second in this beginning moment to pull out something that you walk around with in confidence that you walk around with every day, but people don't see it. We are you are. Let's go. Peace. Yeah. We're here for a retreat. Um, basically, um, and what I get from it is, it's a place for black men to come and heal, talk about things that you know maybe they may not be comfortable talking about in the. Uh, the normal setting. This year was the fourth year for the retreat, and we had brothers from all over the country, Delta State University, Langston University, University of North Texas, Texas Southern University, and the list goes on. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful feel. I, I love it out here because, like I said, we're away from the city, we're away from all the distractions that we could possibly have, and we're just out in nature and we're all together. It's much, but it feels great to get to know and get to experience and interact with people of my race and um, getting to know others and their perspectives of life. And it make us feel more, you know, together rather than, you know, separate. And then being here with all these black men here, they're all leaders, they're all alphas, you know. It's not like, you know, you see some, you know, quiet ones and, you know, some, you know, real loud ones and then tough ones. It's like they're all leaders, they all have one goal and that's to make it in life. Big learning experience. It's a way to, um, you know, kind of touch on other people with the stuff I learned this weekend. Like, for instance, the, the stuff we did today, a lot of communication type stuff, uh, working together to move forward and like that type of stuff. So it just kind of reiterates stuff that I already knew, but I felt like I needed it. It feels really empowering to, as me being here as an advisor, it feels good for me to sit, to like sit back and listen to the young black men and how intelligent they are to know that they, to, that we are, that we are forced when we're together. So it, feel, it feels really good to actually hear and know that there is, there are still, there's still hope for us out here. And this really gives our students an opportunity to expand their exposure, expand their growth, to take them into elements that they're not used to, to take them into elements with other black males in order to uh, expand their narrative, change their narrative. I, mean, I think this is like an excellent thing for just anybody to go to because I done made fellowship with many brothers I didn't even know in a matter of just a couple of hours. Just by going around talking to different black men from different places, it really like speaks to see how much we have that's familiar and similar with each other. And it really speaks that we already made a brotherhood just by knowing each other in a couple of hours. So that's really amazing to me. I, I consider myself a, a, a really good leader right now, but I know I, I can be better, you know. And things like in like this retreat here, it showed me different things I could do and improve on to help other folks, you know. Because I want to know things outside of my box. Because I always wanted to change my perspective that I already had before I came here with personal issues I have. So now I'm just trying to fix it with what I'm learning here. It feels inspiring um, to hear so many stories of so many different backgrounds. Um, we all come from different places um, with the common goal in mind. We all just want a better future. I just want to be able to touch on some other people, what I learned, and kind of help them with some jewels that I get from this retreat, pass them on. That's what I want to do. So everything, I'm, I'm taking in everything. I want to make every event, you know what I'm saying, and get the most I can out of everything so I can pretty much help somebody else. Not only that, but also keep it for myself too. I got to I can't help you if I ain't got it, you know what I'm saying, so. I will take back the team building activities, the, the knowledge and um, and the just learning that, cause you know, on Delta State campus, you don't see many of us African-Americans actually work together and being informed of certain things and interacting with each other. We just pretty much go our separate ways and do our activities and whatnot. And I think that's a big important factor that we need on Delta State campus, not only for just black communities but for all students communities i mean students all in general oh uh, we've been doing like a uh, type rope with two lines with two lines so a person is one side and a person on the other side and we have to balance with each other all the way through and you have to trust the other person 
because you're gonna be leaning on them. And when you lean on them all the way through, if you can make it to the end and you still holding on, if you're not holding on at all, you're gonna fall. You're gonna bust your face. But if you keep your trust in that partner, y'all can make it all the way to the end. And that's basically, basically like um, in life, if you can um, lean on that person all the way to the end and don't and keep your trust in that person, then y'all always with each other forever. And you always have your help on us besides you. Even today, I learned that patience is one of our bigger things because we had to stay patient so we could kind of understand each other better because it's a bunch of different, like I don't know nobody in my group. I didn't know none of them before this week and nobody I came with. So you gotta kind of like learn to work with others all over again because we all adults and everybody don't like to listen, but we're doing a good job so far with that. When we start to bring our various voices into one room, we start to understand ourselves from a different lens and a more complete lens and create the permission for brothers to kind of explore who they are at deeper levels. Uh, this was probably the best experience of my life. Like I, I really enjoyed it. Like I don't, I don't hang around too many guys that much, and it was like such a good experience, especially seeing young black men come together like this and show like so much support for each other. And like I told my story last night, like I hope I was an inspiration to as many people as I could reach out to because like, it's, it's been a good overall experience. I think this is important for students um, from Delta State um, University because in the environment that we come from, it's, everything is closed-minded. Nobody is um, open to hear um, you know, what another person has to say um, because it, I guess it's the fear of reject rejection and the fear of you know, maybe being talked about. So a lot of males in that area tend to just keep things bottled up, me being one of them. I, um, I can speak off personal experience. I don't trust many people, but coming here has really opened me up to you know, trusting more, trusting more.